What's up, y'all? Welcome to another video with your boy Amir and the Abe. It's currently, um, so I had a video day five. Alright, so today is day six slash seven of the challenge, and so far the day is going great. Uh, we are currently up $440 off of the pounds. Hold on, there we go. Focus. Yep, $440, right? GBP USD is absolutely busting right now. Like, sheesh! GU, GJ, all the GBP pairs is busting, going crazy. I'm mad because I could have happened to go too, but it's cool. Not not tripping, right? Still got it's only Tuesday. It's only Tuesday in the market. We have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to go right go crazy for the challenge and get the profits. But I wanted to come on here and show y'all like the same exact market structure that I told y'all about on Friday when we did our market recap. If you haven't watched the video, go back and watch the market recap video. But the same market structure that we went over on Friday, I talked about on here. And I wanted to make sure I go over it with y'all. So hold on one second. Let's see. Same market structure, like the exact same. <clears throat> All right. So I just wanted to come on here and show y'all. No, no. All right. So I just wanted to come on here and show y'all, like, bro, look at this market structure. All right. Look at this market structure on GBP USD. Uh, just like earlier this week in the market recap, we talked about, first of all, I'm gonna show y'all. So in the market recap video, I believe the market was the 31st is up here, right? Hold on, what's today? Yep, 31st is on Sunday. On Sunday, I told y'all, I mean on Friday, we marked went over the video. I told y'all, hey, look out for that break. It was gonna go for a sale. So if you caught that sale, congratulations. Shout out to you for catching those, uh, for catching that move, right? If you didn't, it's all right. Now this pullback right here, this retest back to that same zone, right? That retails back to that saying, like I said, when, you, when you're looking for it, when it's reversing, and you're trying to see when is the next indication that the market is going to go for a sale, uh, you look for that previous support level that it just broke out of. So once it got back to the zone, as you can see, it hit it, it started dropping right here. If we would have entered right here, that's cool, because like I told y'all, set y'all uh, set y'all TPs to stop loss, set y'all stop loss 20 pills back, 20, 30 pills back, cool. It wouldn't even hit the stop loss, right? You would have been set. But if you waited for the break and waited for that close to come back under, you could have caught all of this going down. As you can see, this large impulse candle on the one hour for uh, the start of New York session got uh, GU like really melting, literally melting. Between GU and GJ, the same market structure on here, heads and shoulders set up, and then you got to drop. Same as that setup. So I just wanted to come on here and show you all this because I'm like, bro, this move is crazy. And this is why I say, like, I'm not really worried too much about NFP week because. Once you have, once you have an understanding of the market structure, once you understand price action, once you understand different movements on the period that you specialize in, it's going to make your trading um, very much easier. You're going to have a, uh, you're going to find it, you're going to find yourself having like an easier time trading than if you were to just use indicators. So that's why it's very important that you um, find a way to switch up your strategy between using indicators and not using indicators and understanding. Um, a bullish candle versus a bearish candle and know exactly what to look for. So of course I'm gonna keep you up posting stuff, but uh, currently we are up uh, 573. I'm gonna let it focus. Boom, 574, right? Currently up 570. Once the account get to the halfway mark, so once I make $500, I'm gonna look to close. Not $500, obviously I made it. Once I get the account to roughly around $10,500, then I'm gonna close out of the trade. And then the rest of the week, I can just trade a lower lot size, like a point ten, and just aim for like a hundred pips or fifty pips for two trades, right? Actually, no, a point twenty lot size, and for fifty pips on every trade I take, and that's a hundred dollars for the rest of the week. And then my tenth day on the trading platform will actually be on Monday the eighth. So then that way I meet the ten the ten day trading minimum trading deadline, and then from there I'll be done trading. But Look out for the next video. I think by now, the basketball video just dropped. Uh, the half court challenge, the vlogging session that I had on Saturday. Feel free to catch check that out as well. Like I told you guys earlier, I'm gonna be switching between trading. I'm gonna do trading uh, videos as well. I'm gonna keep you updated with the challenge, but I'm gonna also give y'all uh, uh, what what things I like to do outside of trading, right? Uh, at least all the things I can do right now because we're in the shutdown. Stay tuned for the next video. Love y'all. Peace out.